Hi. I'm feeling very short right now. The seat's very low at this piano. Um, I want to share a thought, and then I'm going to explain why I'm sharing the thought after I share the thought. So I'm going to take this lever and take it out from a line of the strings, and I'm going to put it perpendicular to the strings. All right. That's the unison I have at the moment. In fact, I'm going to test it before I do this, because then if I knock it out, I have an excuse to to mess with it, but I don't think I will. Ooh. Not bad. Okay, little, little. Okay, so I'm gonna um, pull this sharp and put it back with the lever at 90, and I'm just going to move it this way. Nothing special, okay? That's a bit much. tell you why I'm, I'm making this video so most of the pianos I tune have very loose tuning pins you have to use a different lever technique when you have loose tuning pins this piano they're not tight but they're way tighter than I'm used to so when when you have a piano there's four types of, of um, tuning situations with pins and friction you can have loose pins and low friction you can have tight pins and low friction, which is what I have here. Not tight, tight, but on the tighter side. They're, they're healthy tight. They're probably medium, but to me they're tight. And then um, you can have, now I forgot the other two I said. You can have all, you can have four combinations of those. You can have um, loose pins and high friction, loose pins and low friction, tight pins and high friction, tight pins and low friction. You can have all four of those and they all take a different hammer technique, a little bit. But this one to me is the easiest. When I have low friction, not zero friction, but low. Zero friction is another problem. Loose pins where they're pulling the lever out of your hand, that's, that's another problem. I'm, I'm not talking about extremes here. So this particular case, moderately tight pins and very low friction, which I, I love. This is my favorite. And those who know... No, those who know what I'm talking about, they're like, yeah, Maggie, we know this stuff. But some people don't, because I didn't really understand this when I started tuning, because all the pianos I was tuning, I was tuning had, had loose pins and high friction. Oh my God. And the easiest way to get stability with those pianos is one or both of two things. Bend the pin, you know, flex it pretty hard, not bend it, bend it, but you know, not really bend it, but flex or um, bang on it, or both, you know? So I was a banger, I was a banger. And then I started um, realizing that not only is that bad for me, my ears and the piano and my fingers, um, that there are other ways. So I've been, I've been, I've been learning all that and I love it. Uh, but this is my favorite. And what I wanted to show you, so normally we tune, or a lot of us tune anyway, not everybody, and some people use impact levers, but, um, and that's another situation. So, uh, normally we are taught to put the tuning lever in line with the strings, all right? And that's to avoid bending the pin regarding the speaking length, regarding moving, it's to avoid bending the pin this direction, front and back, unless you want to, okay? So when you move this lever, you always bend the pin, period. Unless you have Dan Levitan's C lever, you're going to bend the pin. And I love his explanations for, for this. His explanations were the first ones that ever really made sense to me. Um, so I liked them. But anyway, um, so unless you have his C lever, you're going to bend the pin. Uh, but you're bending it this way, left and right. All right? Yeah. Um, and so you're not affecting the pitch of the string, the speaking length or non-speaking length at all. You're just bending it left and right, so you have more control. However, um, when you're in a situation where the, the pin is tighter, well, two things happen when the pin is tighter. It can twist, literally. You can move the top of that pin. I can do it right now. I can bump this 
and not move the foot of this pin in the pin block and, it, and I can bring it sharp because there's more tension right now on the non-speaking length and speaking length and I can twist that pin. If the pin block's tight enough, you're going to twist that pin a little bit. Promise. Um, Dan Levitan did an experiment where he put a, a pin in a tight piece of wood and he, he pulled the top and the bottom didn't move for quite a bit and he left it that way and it like stayed that way for months and months and months if not years it still hasn't moved he told me I don't know how long it's been now but anyway so I'm just going to bump this a little bit and I'm going to bend the pin and twist it a little bit that took more effort than I meant but whatever you know whatever works so so I've twisted and or bent the pin and flexed the pin and now I'm sharp and I didn't move that pin in that pin block. And this is what you want. You want a situation where there's a there's more tension on the non-speaking length than the speaking length. I know I've said that before. But that's how you get stability. How you get that is different in different situations. But this one is, is my favorite because the the the, the twist and bend that's happening just naturally from me moving the lever is the perfect amount when you have tight tuning pins and low friction. You can put this lever at 90 degrees if it's right, which is like not a majority of the time. This does not happen. This is rare. That's why I'm making a video because this is so rare for me. But with this piano, it, most of the piano, not everywhere, I can put this at 90 degrees and, and it, it's perfect. And it makes me happy. So I'm sharing it. <laughs> and if you already know this, you can laugh at me. And if you if you think that bending the pin is evil, I don't care. It's not possible. You have to bend the pin when you tune, unless you have a levitancy lever. So the best thing you can do is control it. If I'm at this way, if I have a situation where I have a loose tuning pin and high friction, and I've made a video about this, where there's a lot, a lot, a lot of friction the only way I have been able to get stability is by having the, the string pretty stable where the, the tension's the same in the speaking length and non-speaking length, but a little sharp. And then I bend the pin to pop it past the friction point. And then when I let go of the lever, the pin flexes back and I have more tension on the non-speaking length and it's stable. Um, another tuner I know um, does it different than me, and I've tried it and it works, but it's not my habit. But I've, I've used it a few times because some, for some reason it worked better for me. I don't know why. I'll push down. Now I'm just rambling, so you can stop the video if you want. But, but I've, I'll push down, or he pushes down on the tuning pin, on the lever, as he's bringing something up. And then when he hits the point that he wants he will let go and the, that pressure will come off and it will bend the pin up and he'll have more tension on the non-speaking length than the speaking length and it works. Now I'm not talking about bending the pin, I'm talking about flexing it. The reason you want to avoid it as much as you can is it really can damage the wood. Um, I believe it can. That's my belief, my opinion. Um, I don't see how it can't. Having said that, I've known people who have bent the pin for years and the, the pianos hold tuned fine. I have known pianos that were tuned once, like 30 years prior when they were delivered and never tuned again, and all the pins are loose. So the tuning pins being loose it ha is caused by um, um, many things, which my opinion is mostly humidity related, but who knows, you know. Um, I, I haven't exactly done research on the subject. Um, but if you're in a situation where you don't have to bend the pin much, like this, I mean, I'm obviously I'm bending it, but very little. I'm doing minimal bending by moving my lever here. Take advantage of it. You know, you don't need to bang. You can get a nice stable tuning without killing yourself or the piano. So, I'm going to make a, a video about my concepts of stability soon with a, a jig I'm making. I think it's going to be funny. But anyway, so um, now I have to put this back. Happy tuning.